Hello, hello, we're back again for more of the quarantine special. Today we are going to be doing modern dance for couch potatoes, which if you haven't already figured out, is actually dancing on a couch. So if you are not at your couch currently, please make sure that you get to your couch as soon as possible. Uh, today we are joined by a very unhappy guest. Her name is Yoko. She is incredibly moody. In fact, I think she's wanting to ditch out of class before we ever even get started. So I'm gonna let her out really quickly so that she does not, oh, maybe she is deciding to stay. Well, we'll see what happens with her attendance. I have a feeling she's not going to be getting a sticker at the end of class. Yeah, well, so again, top things that we're going to need are a couch. You could probably do some of this in a chair, uh, but if you do, maybe making sure that it's pushed up against a wall so that you do not uh, knock the chair over because we are going to be doing lots of sliding and other fun stuff with that chair. Priority number two, or really priority number one, uh, but second thing I'm saying, is making sure that we have our water with us as always. Um, I am not wearing my Ambo Dance Theater shirt today because it blends in with the couch and you can't see the movements of my body very well. But I do have it displayed back here in the event you would like to send in an order for one. We had a couple people order some yesterday. Um, shout out to Jocelyn for those orders. Um, but yes, we have them here on display. I'll kind of pop them up near the end if you want to get a better look at them. And we should be ready to get started soon. One last shout out I want to give, as always, is to Dance Sensation Studios here in Louisville, who has been supporting our company from the very beginning. Um, like many studios and many privately owned businesses and small businesses, they are really feeling the sting of this whole situation that we're in with social distancing and needing to kind of shut doors temporarily. And while they are still giving classes and running classes on their regular schedule, every studio still has that fear of what's gonna happen given our current situation. So just making sure that we are being mindful of supporting our local businesses, because if we enjoy going to them, then we need to continue to give support even through this tough time because that is not only a source of income for several people, but also it is someone's livelihood that we have been actively benefiting off of. So keep up that good work. And remember that these videos, while they might be hopefully enjoyable, are not a substitute for your regular classes that you normally attend. They're meant to be fun and a brain break for you. Yep, see, there's Yoko ditching class already. She's not a great cat. I love her. She's very needy and very emotional. Anyways, continue to support our local businesses um, so that we can enjoy them when this is all over. And we too are a small but hopefully growing business. So throughout this process, you will have the opportunity to donate if you look at the information that is paired with this video. There are four different options for donating, so please feel free to check those out, but no obligation. Water break, and then let's get started. Okay, so for modern dance on our couch, we're primarily going to be focusing on how do we use our spine. You do not need to be a seasoned dancer to do any of this. Um, I do recommend maybe wearing some socks to avoid rug burn because we are going to be moving our feet around a little bit. Um, but really we're just learning all these different ways that we can use our back and our spine to then take movement into the rest of our body. So I'm going to have us actually start with a little warm up and we're going to start nice and awkward to make it super fun for everyone. So go ahead and we're gonna lay down on our couch. Now for me, because this couch is nice and slippery, I'm gonna make sure my head is up against this arm here. You may not have this problem, depending on what upholstery you have. So scooching in real comfy. 
I'm just going to start by rolling through my pelvis and trying to activate that part of my body. So laying here, nice and comfortable, I'm pressing my feet into the cushion and I'm going to think of tuck and lift through my pelvis. So I lift and I'm going to continue rolling, rolling, rolling all the way up until I'm at my highest bridge point. From here, I went bottom to top. I want to go top down to lie back down. So thinking of the upper abdominals, lifting, lifting, lifting to lower each vertebrae one at a time. Let's try that again. We lift one, two, three, four, holding, five, six, seven, eight, lower, top of the spine, two, three, four, five, hold and rest, seven, eight. From here, we are going to go into the floor. So I'm going to take my left arm, the one that's closest to the back of the couch, overhead. I'm going to drip my knees down toward the floor. So my feet are going to catch me and I'm going to roll into my child's pose. Because again, we're trying to warm up our activity in the spine. So again, I'm laying here. The arm closest to the back of the couch comes overhead to kind of balance me out. My knees drip so that my legs are leading me to the floor. This hand can kind of slide and catch myself. This one's circling overhead into my child's pose. From here, if you tuned in yesterday, this should seem familiar. I'm staying rounded, looking at the belly button, sliding out, 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 rolling through spine, bottom to top. I'm going to reverse it, chin to chest, roll it back down, round, 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 looking at the belly button, all the way in. From here, I'm sending my hips down so that I can roll up one vertebrae at a time. So head is the last thing up. And I'm going to take the arm furthest from the couch. I'm going to put the other hand on the couch, swim it over, and I'm kind of rolling up into the couch so that I can do this all on the other side. So if you didn't catch that, I'm going to reverse it. We go from here. All right, actually, let's go from the start of the floor part. We came down, I'm reaching my hands, rounding through my torso, round, 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 rolling, 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 lifting, lifting, lifting through the head, and then reverse it, chin to chest, rounding, pulling back, rounded, 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 all the way down. Then I send my hips down to roll up, 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 up. Hand goes to couch, other hand reaches up and over. I'm lifting, I'm kind of putting the arm onto the couch so that my knees can twist and I can roll myself right back to where we started. I may need to adjust a little, that's okay. And then we start the other side. We lift one, two, three, four, holding, five, six, seven, eight, and a down, top of the spine, two, Three, four, holding, five, six, arm up, seven, eight, knees drip, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, coming forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and roll down, two, rounding, four, five, six, seven, eight, sitting up, two, arm comes over, five, six, seven, eight, and then we would start over. Why don't we try this with a little bit of just soft percussive music. I'll keep guiding you through it as we go, but we really want to make sure that our whole body is kind of getting used to this feeling of moving with a couch because normally we don't move with any props at all. So we want to learn the ways of the cushion.
Now as we go, if I'm realizing our music's a little too fast, I may adjust some counts. So just listen to my cues, but we should be good to go. So starting from our beginning. Five, six, five, six, seven, rolling up. Two, three, four, and hold. Six, seven, hold. One, two, three, four, come down. Seven, eight, arm up, knees drip. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, hold. Six, seven, eight, round and forward. All the way extended and back. In the chest, round. Rolling up. Hand and arm. One, three, five, six. Here we go, other side. One, two, three, four. Keep lifting and hold. One, two, three, four. Bring it down. Arm up and over. Knees drip. You have an eight count to get down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Round forward. Head extends up all the way. Chin to chest down. Rolling up. Hand, arm over. Roll it into the couch. Five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Five, six, holding there and hold. Top of the spine down. Arm up, knees drip, feet to the floor, bring it down. Nice and heavy and gooey with the body. And round, extending up all the way, and chin to chest. Rolling up, hand and arm. Back of the arm, rotating. Last time, seven, eight, roll it up. Holding, holding, lifting. Keep holding. Top of the spine down. Arm up. Knees drip into the floor. And getting there. Six, seven, eight. Lift and round forward. All the way up, out through the spine. Chin to chest. Rolling up, add a hand, arm. And just take a moment to relax here. See how you're feeling. Maybe jiggle through your body if something feels off. Enjoying the fact that while you're dancing, you are still also thoroughly enjoying a couch. How often do we get to do that? What better time to do that than when you're stuck in isolation? Okay, I'm gonna pause that music. And as you know, between every exercise, we always go for our hydration break. You can't see her, but Yoko is hiding under these chairs over here. She was unhappy that she could not get in her favorite closet. Life is tough when you're a grumpy little cat. Okay. So now that we're a little more in our bodies, we are going to do a seated exercise uh, to help us use our spine in some different ways and think about some initiation points. A lot of this is going to be top of the spine or top of the head and top of the spine going first. Okay, so first we wanna find ourselves in a parallel position with our feet and I'm sitting tall right at the edge of the couch. So this is gonna have a front side, back side pattern to it. Oh, she's getting her stretch on. 
Yeah. So from here, we're going to do a little roll forward. So I roll down one, two, three, four. I want to be completely relaxed over. I'm curving my spine. But again, the first thing, head tips forward, rest of the spine goes one vertebrae at a time. From here, I'm thinking of sliding my legs out, five, six, extend my arms over to stretch, seven, eight. I want to try and lengthen. Okay, so thinking of the top of the head lengthening toward those feet, seven, eight. I come up one, two, three, four and I bring it all back in, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, legs out, arm stretch, bring it up, two, three, four, return, six, seven, eight. Not so bad, hopefully. So we've gone to the front, now we have to go to the side. And we'll do this a couple times through. So you'll go front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, and so on. So you're kind of alternating which side you do. So we curved forward. Now we're gonna curve to the side. So this hand is gonna have to slide out after my head tilts. One, two, three, four. This hand kind of came to catch myself. I'm kind of laying here. Now this arm that's bent in front of me and these legs, which are also bent, they're all gonna straighten. So I'm gonna go from a straight back position into an arched back position. I'm actually gonna be looking behind myself. So from here, all I'm gonna do is straighten my legs. This arm is going to reach behind me and I'm gonna follow where that arm is leading. I have four counts to get there. Then I'm gonna bend everything back in and straighten my spine back out. Then, here's the tricky part. I'm going to straighten back up to sit, but I don't want to lift from my head. I need to think of setting the hip down and sliding this hand back in the exact reverse of what I did to go down. So I went head first, shoop. Then I need to think hip first, bottom of the spine, zipping up like a jacket. So zipper, shoop, but from the side, okay? So that one was dripping side one, two, three, four. Lengthen five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in, straighten up. Three, four, sitting up. Six, seven, eight. Wanna try it to the other side? I can hear you screaming, yes, we're gonna do it. Okay. So other side, same thing, I slide out one, two, three, four, top arm lengthens out, five, six, seven, eight, bring it in nice and flat, three, four, sitting up, six, seven, eight. Got that one, think? Cool. Okay, and then to the back. This is the most complicated one where everything else was in four counts before. This one has a lot more that's in just two counts. Um, but the counts really, uh, you want to think of it kind of not pausing and stopping, but always being continuous. So this one, instead of thinking top of the head down, we're thinking bottom of the spine. So it's like you got punched in the stomach. And I'm actually going to lean all the way back into the back of my couch. So I go one, two, three, four. My four counts to get here. Now I'm going to lengthen through my legs and it's my pelvis leading me down, sliding into the floor, and I'm kind of arching my back so that I found a seat on the floor. I am going to come up, arch, 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 and it's the last thing. So again, thinking pelvis tilting and lifting the rest of me. I come up and fold forward, reach, lift up and out, arching, reaching back into the couch. Once I'm laying down here, my arms come around, my legs come in and they lift me up again, forward and down. My feet should be far enough in that I'm going to push myself up to sit again, drop the arms, lift, and bring it back to start again. So you may have to adjust your feet in a little bit more there at the end. So let's talk about counts for this one. 
And we'll do this one a couple times. It's definitely the hardest and the longest of all of them. So we went punched in the stomach. One, two, three, four. Lengthen, arch it down. So that's five, six, seven, eight. I might get here one, two, three, four. Up five, six, back seven, eight. Open one, two, three, four, five, six. Lift up seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Bring it in. Six, seven, eight. One more time. So we went last time. We went front and side, then to the back. Here we go. Punch the stomach. Two, three, four. Lengthen five, six, seven, eight. And the forward. Two, reach. Four, five. Six, arch it back, eight, open arms, bend it in, arch forward, bring it up, drop, and lift, top of the head out. So again, when we're lifting, we don't want to go to roll up through the spine, but think of my top of my head is leading up and out, then bring it in, back to center. And then from there, we would go to the side again, zoop. Lengthen, in, up, and then to the front, to the left, to the back, to the left, to the front. And we will do that, hmm, let's say, two times through. Right, left, right, left. Let's try it. I will walk you through the whole thing. So if you feel like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what's going on, don't worry. One, it's slow. Two, I got you. I'm going to talk you through the whole thing. So by the time you're done doing it, you're going to be like, oh yeah, I got that. Here we go. We're gonna do the same music just because we are already familiar, but I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little. Bring 
down, rowing back to the right, head rolls. Expand behind ourselves. Bring it in. Rolling up. Back to the front, down. talked about the lower spine initiating from the pelvis as well with our arches down into the floor and our punched in the stomach to round back. Um, as always, water break. Make sure you are staying hydrated. There is no better way to stay in good health. Yoko seems content to be on the couch and out of the way at this point in time. We'll see if that maintains throughout our process. Now, if you're like me, uh, your hair has probably become a disaster zone during all of this. So feel free to fix your hair if needed. Um, while we're here, again, I'm not wearing my shirt today because it blends in with the couch and then you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. But we do have these awesome shirts that are available for just $15. I will even personally deliver them and leave them on your porch without ever having made contact with you. It's kind of a like, set it down, Lysol and run situation. Or I can fold it, Lysol it, stuff it in a box, Lysol the box, mail you the box as another option. Um, but we do, we have shirts in all sizes, small through extra large. So if you would like one, feel free to just give us a ding. Our email, ambodancetheater at gmail.com is listed in the information that goes with this video. And again, our primary goal through this whole situation is to just reach as many people as possible so if you ever do have recommendations for classes or people that you're like, hey, dude, you could totally use this as an outlet, feel free to invite them in. We will never charge anything for these online classes, though we do always appreciate donations. Okay, we're ready to get back into it. I've got one more exercise for us, which is a little loony, and hopefully fun for its looniness. Um, and then we will do some choreography. So we are starting in our same position, seated, nice and tall. I'm going to bring my arm out to the side. So I'm going to do my right side first, um, which really it's not all that right oriented other than that is the arm I start with and that dictates the direction I go on a lot of the things to follow. So I take my right arm out, one, two. From here, I'm gonna swing this arm across. It's like I'm slapping the air. Away, coronavirus, that sort of thing. So I slap coronavirus away and I curve to my side. When I'm curved to my side, I want to be rounded and contracted. That same punch in the stomach sort of positioning. Then I'm gonna open back up where I came from and I'm going to take a side stretch. 
From there, think of this as like winding it up. I'm going to go the other direction, curve it forward, open it up, and then I'm going to splash water. So that splash water is what's called a high release. I'm thinking of my sternum right here, lifting up toward the ceiling. So this isn't some like bootylicious arch thon. It's more just my upper chest and my upper spine working. Okay, so the counts for all of that. One, two, round it, three, four, open, five, six, seven, eight, around, two, three, four. I'm rounded here, so my pelvis is tucked forward. I've got that punched in the stomach thing. Open, five, six, Splash seven, eight. I'm gonna bring it down one, two. My shoulder's gonna roll back to front and they're tipping me forward. So they roll three, four, five, six. And here I'm actually reaching forward enough to come into a forward fold. We're gonna get off the couch a little bit in this one, play with our floor and play with our standing just a little bit. This phrase is quite long, by the way. But again, it goes at a pace that we can kind of keep up with each other the whole way through. And it repeats some stuff. So from the beginning, we went one, two, curve it, three, four, open, five, six, stretch it, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, open, five, six, splash it, seven, eight, drop it, one, two, shoulders back, head down, five, six, stretch it, seven, eight. From here, I'm gonna think of my head leading out and up, but still looking down at the floor to find a very brief flat back position. My arms are just hanging there. So I've got one, so from here, five, six, seven, eight, lift one, two, three, four, bring it down, six, seven, eight. You may recognize this part from yesterday. I'm gonna bend my left knee so I can reach my right arm. Two, three, four. And then it's like someone grabs your wrist and pulls you up. So my head is heavy, my arm is heavy down here to come up to standing. I'm hitting my ceiling fan right here. Hopefully you are not a gigantic human like I am and hitting your own ceiling, but you know, genetics. What are you gonna do? So we went from splash water we dropped one, two, shoulders three, head four, five, six, stretch seven, eight, head lifts one, two, three, four, bring it down, six, seven, eight, bend and lift, two, three, four, head is heavy as you come up. Now, this part, I'm gonna move back a little, just in case, because I know some of my upper body is being cut off right now. This part should seem familiar. It's a repeat of what you did on the when you were seated, but we're gonna do it standing so we can hopefully go a little deeper into that side stretch. So we're gonna curve one, two, then reverse it. Three, four, five, six. Actually, you know what? We've got some time there. Let's make that a little longer. Let's stretch one, two, three, four, around. Six, bring it forward. So again, you can really see here how that pelvis is tucked under. If I don't, I end up with a flat back. So I really want curved. From here, my arms are gonna drop. I'm gonna lengthen into a flat back. Think of your wrists or your hands as being able to grab your butt. If they can't grab your butt and they're up here, nothing, that's not good. We want them down by our hips, but grabability is important. So from here, my arms are gonna circle up ahead, okay? You might notice that I'm actually kind of leaning back when I do that. It's to counterbalance my weight because my weight right here is in a different position than when I add more weight on this side. So when I take more weight up, I actually have to lean back into my hips more, okay? And that is one of the hardest positions we're gonna be hitting with all of this. It's a lot of muscle. So, Let's back it up, give some counts to all of that. We were here. We lift one, 
two, three, four, set it down, six, seven, eight, bend and reach, two, three, four, lift it up, six, seven, eight, curve one, two, three, four, around, six, curve forward, eight, flat back, two, three, four, arms around, six, seven, eight, I'm going to plie, one, two, three, four, sitting up, six, seven, eight. So that right there is more of a hinge. A lot of the stuff we've been doing before dealt with curving of the spine. Here, I'm trying to keep it as flat, flat, flat as I can, and then I'm hinging to set my weight down and stack it vertically rather than horizontally. Do you want to go from the beginning? I'm feeling it. Let's do it. So we got five, six, arm comes out, seven, eight. We go one, two, curve it, three, four, open, five, six, stretch, seven, eight, around, two, three, four, open, five, six, splash water, seven, eight, bring it down, two, shoulders, head, five, six, stand it, up. Quick moment for me to adjust so I don't hit the ceiling fan as you can see it. We lift one, two, three, four, set it down, six, seven, eight, bend the knee and reach, three, four, raise it up, six, seven, eight, we curve, two, three, four, around, six, seven, eight, to the flat back, two, three, four arms around, six, seven, eight, we bend, four, four, counts and sit up, four, four, counts. Not so bad? Okay. Not much more to this one, and then we will get into the other side. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna open, okay, and I'm going to take that open to lead my head back. So now I'm going out of my high release, which we're repeating. So it starts high release, then I take it further into a full back, find the back of my couch. I'm going to roll down. So I'm kind of going top of the spine down as I find that couch, though my ponytail's getting in the way of that at the moment. So from here, shoop, body roll, top of the spine, one at a time. And now my head takes me forward. Shoop. See here, okay? We are going to rise and take the arms out so that we're sitting right on the edge in this kind of straddled position. I wanna make sure that my feet are not rotated down to the floor. So this gray part of my sock that you can see, the heel, I want that part on the floor, not the inside arch of my foot. So whoop, I'm going to twist to one side. So notice, on this side, my knee turns down toward the floor. This one, you can put the whole foot or you can try lengthening through the toes. As I twist, open back up. Twist, open back up. Whoop, I'm sliding off the couch. Then from here, we're gonna go contract. Sit it up. Contract, sit it up. Last one, contract, sit it up, reset, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're starting again, using that floor to our advantage in terms of how we twist and move our body. And then we go and do the other side. So that last part, after we sat up, we open one, two, three, four, rolling down, seven, eight. So the first part will probably go a little faster than what I just did, but to try and show you guys what I'm doing, I'm kind of oozing into it. So one more time. Six, seven, eight. Oh, one, two, three, four, rolling down. Six, seven, eight, open. One, two, three, four, twist, five. Six, seven, eight, open. One, two, three, four, twisting, five, six, 
seven, eight, open. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I come back to start over. And if I need to adjust, I can't. So you have a whole eight count to reset. Let's walk the whole thing on the other side. So that means left arm is gonna go out first. Five, six, seven, eight. Left arm, one, two, curving, three, four, open, five, six, curve, eight. So we're gonna arm that's out, that's the one I wanna take overhead. So that's like wind it up, I go around one, two, three, four, open, five, six, Splash seven, eight, let it down. Two shoulders, three, head four, five, six, stretch it out. Raise, two, three, four, set it down. Six, seven, eight, bend the right knee and the left arm goes up. Two, three, four, lifting up. Six, seven, eight, again, the arm that's up. That is the one that curves overhead. Curve one, two, three, four, reverse, six, seven, eight, flat back, two, three, four, arms overhead, six, seven, eight, I bend, two, three, four, stack it up, six, seven, eight, and it comes center again. That's when I open, one, two, three, four, forward, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, twist, six, seven, eight, back to center, two, three, four, I'm sliding again, twist, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five. Six, out seven, eight, in one, two, out three, four, last one, five, six, seven, eight. So on those, I wanna think of rounding back. So I'm actually tilting into the back of my pelvis now rather than sitting upright. So I'm back and then I restack everything. Then I bring it all in, back to center, adjust if needed, because I know that edge of the couch is precarious especially depending on what kind of couch you have. Okay, I wish I could ask questions, but unfortunately this platform is not great for that. So we are gonna get started and I encourage you, even if you're not getting it perfectly, these things take time. So follow along, we'll do a right, left, right, left, um, and then we will get into some choreography, which, spoiler, will all be on your own timing. And it's real short. So. One more exercise and then some choreography.
from work, which is funny because none of us are at work, but there's still work to be done as we always know. Um, so let's take a quick water break and then we're going to get into our very quick choreography. This is just a very short experimental thing since we only have about eight minutes until the end of our class now. So water first. Yoko over there thinks that um, I am boring and not deserving of her attention. Yeah, that's more like it. She is truly one of the strangest cats I've ever met. She likes to sleep right here. She loves to be held, but only if she so chooses. If you try and pick her up without her permission, it's not happening. Okay, so this choreography, like I said, this will only take us a couple minutes to do. And it's just to get us thinking um, about what choreography can be and start applying some of the spine stuff that we've done throughout this class today. Um, so uh, choreography, a lot of the time we get told how to do something, there's a right way, the right time, and anything else can't work. That's, there's a right and a wrong. Um, I have a little bit more of a fluid approach to choreography um, that I love to share with people and make them squirm and go, what? No, that's not what I've been taught. Um, so if you've never done choreography before, this is a great opportunity to get to experiment with your body and movement. If you've done choreography a million times, here's an opportunity to think about it in a different way. So it's a very short phrase. We're going to learn the movements. And then I'm going to put on some music and we are just going to do it a couple times through um, at our own timing, whatever pace we want to do. If you want to do the whole thing insanely slow, you can do the whole thing insanely slow. If you want to do the whole thing insanely fast, except for this one moment that you really want to make very, very slow, that's what you can do. Um, and hopefully this will give you a little taster as well of some stuff that we're going to be doing in some future classes next week. So. We're gonna start on our couch. We're gonna be laying on our side, our right side. So, chill in here. When I feel inspired to, I'm going to sit up and look to my right. I'm going to bend down and reach with my left arm, open a curtain, and look the other way. From here, I'm going to reach up, up. I'm still looking to my left now. I'm going to bring the right hand down, give it a little shake. And notice that my head followed that, shoop, out to my right. So it's that same exercise from the beginning. Head tilts and follow, grab. So that whole thing again. We're laying down. We're chilling when we feel inspired. We sit up, left arm reaches slowly, slowly, or really at whatever time you want. Left arm reaches, open up, reach, reach, shake, 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 boom. Okay, from here, my arms are going to go back and my head goes back with it. So I'm going to try and kind of body roll myself into the couch, leaving this foot on the floor to kind of help stabilize. So, down. I'm going to then bring my legs up and curl to the back of the couch. And then my right arm's going to drift out and open. I'm going to fan my legs right, left, so they catch me on the floor. So that ending part. Boom, back down into the couch, curving in. Right arm opens, my head follows. Right leg is a little bent and it kind of fans. Left leg follows, it's called body half. And I sit here on the floor. I'm going to go again, reach, reach. And this time I'm going to bring both hands in past each other and down. So that's that curve 
that we've been working on right there. And that's where we're going to end it for today. It's just a taster to do something fun with movement and play with timing and how we'd like to execute some stuff. So we went reach, reach. So that's in, out, head curve. Okay. So again, application. Where are we seeing the stuff we've done today? Here. When I shoot up, it's that same hip roll up and look lower, sweeping open, huh? boom, boom, head curves, just like in our earlier exercise, boom, body rolls us into the couch, curve it in, right arm open, so top of the spine, left, right leg, left leg, we'll get into some more of this stuff in our floor work class, down with the sickness. To sit, reach, reach, foom, 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 rounding. Okay, don't be afraid to touch your own head. You don't have to be here. It's your face. Okay, I know we're supposed to be socially distancing. You don't need to socially distance from yourself. Give self love, touch yourself appropriately. Well, what you do on your own time. Okay, so again, from the beginning. We're here on our own timing. We roll up and look. Boom. Open a curtain. Look to my left. Reach, reach. Head rolls. Grab. Use this leg to brace you as you go down. Into the couch. Roll it in. Right arm. Fan the right leg left leg it catches me on the floor reach reach i'm looking up foom foom curve the head down and around okay so again this is entirely your own timing so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go through that three times and i'm going to do it differently every time you don't need to stay with me I encourage you to go through it several times and just play with how are all the different ways I can execute this choreography. But the one thing I do encourage you to do is maintain the integrity of that spinal movement. Put into use these things that we practiced in class today. New dance, new music. <laughs>
Modern Dance for Couch Potatoes. Hopefully you guys had a good time. You feel like you're in your body. Maybe you feel you can move a little bit more through your spine. You've awakened a sense of mobility in there. Um, we'll be doing a variety of classes every single day. So, and we actually are gonna be doing even more performance-based stuff as well, if you'd rather not participate, but would just like to view some funky dance stuff, because we like the non-traditional around here. Um, again, my shout outs always go out to Dance Sensations, um, because they have supported us from the very beginning, and even through this whole thing, have continued to support us. Mind your local businesses, everyone. Check in on them. If you enjoy going there, if you enjoy going to a gym or a studio or a local grocery store or a bakery, make sure you are asking them and talking to them and saying, hey, how can I make sure that you survive this crisis? There's the individual level and the business level that is suffering through all of this, but we're all in it together if we make that effort. Um, other shout outs, Joe, who joined us for class yesterday, was actually the person who formally put our title for this class together. I knew I wanted Modern Dance on Couches, but I didn't have a good title for communicating it. So he's usually my title go-to person. Uh, and he came through on this one. Um, again, donations, all our classes will always be free in this online format. But again, we are also gonna be working as a company throughout this whole process. I'm trying to find more and more ways to make sure my dancers get paid. And the easiest way is to make sure that we have an income stream that I can then keep forwarding on to them. So any donations would be greatly appreciated or even better, well, maybe not better, just different. Showing your love and support, getting yourself an Ambo Dance Theater t-shirt and wearing it and sending us pictures that we can post on the social medias uh, so that we can tell the world how many people think we're cool, you know. So um, all the information for that stuff is available with this video in the text. So please feel free to check it out, look into the options, and hopefully we will see you again soon, maybe even inviting some friends to join. Also, shout out to Yoko on her excellent behavior and performance today. She's had a very, very busy day as we can see, so she really needs to take a good solid nap. See you guys tomorrow.